What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing part two of the Star Wars Black Series collection. Um, I know I said in the last video I was going to pull out part two like the following day or the following couple days or whatever, but I ended up waiting a week or two. Um, ended up working out for me because I ended up getting uh, five more figures to add to the collection. So I'll show those ones off first. Um, EB Games called the other day. So, I got the Gaming Greats Imperial Rocket Trooper. I still don't know if I'm going to open this one or keep them in box. Um, I'll probably end up opening them as soon as I get my uh, display all ready and set. But uh, still locked down here in Ontario, so move him off to the side. Uh, the next one I got was Asajj Ventress. Really happy to get this one. Um... I feel like we waited a little too long for this, but we finally got her. At least, you know, better late than never, I guess. Uh, she looks pretty cool. I was going to open her. Kind of wish I did for the video, but... Um, yeah, she looks cool. Ventress, we'll put her off to the side over here. And the next one we got that I haven't opened yet is the Elite Squad Trooper. If you guys, if you guys have saw the latest Bad Batch episode, episode 3... Oh, wow, he's character number three, too. It's pretty ironic. Um, yeah, you'll see where these guys are in the show. Really digging the show right now. It's really cool. I just like knowing what happened between, like, A New Hope and Episode 3. Like, that whole... From clone troopers to stormtroopers. I feel like we haven't heard of a lot of that story. That side from Star Wars. Um, speaking on Bad Batch, here are the other two figures I have gotten recently. Um, Crosshair and Hunter. Both pretty, pretty cool. Pretty badass figures. Crosshair without his helmet. Good soldiers follow orders. <laughs> um, he came with this really big sniper. He's got a pistol there. Uh, the sniper can actually holster on his backpack. I didn't know if it was uh, upside down or if it's supposed to be like that. But still looks pretty cool. Um, Hunter here comes with that blade. It's on his like, he's got like a place to store it on his wrist there. His helmet comes off. He looks pretty badass too. Um, yeah, really digging the show. Really uh, liking how it's going. Um, can't wait to get more Bad Batch figures. All right, we'll put these guys over here. And we're going to start pulling out the rest from the bin. So uh, let's get started. Who we got first? We got... Beckett uh, from Solo, Woody Harrelson. Great looking Woody Harrelson figure. <laughs> Great likeness. Um, yeah, I'm not huge on the Solo movie. I thought it was decent. I wouldn't mind actually a second or uh, if they went like a TV show route, I would watch it. But uh, yeah, not bad. Beckett. <clears throat> Who do we have next? Oh, we have another Solo character. Um, is it uh, L3 or L something? I don't even remember her name or its name. I guess it's a woman that voices her. Um, she was kind of like the comedy relief in the in the movie, comic relief. Um, cool figure, I guess. Um, yeah, not much more to say. I think that's her name, L3 or something. I forget. Uh, what do we have next? We got the Force Unleashed. Um, oh man, I forget the rank or whatever this trooper's name was. It's not the Shadow. I know it's, uh, oh man, I forget. There's so many different names for the troopers, I can't remember them all. Especially, like, right away. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool looking. It's the older design. Uh, still cool though. Um, I'll always buy troopers, so if Hasbro just... Stopped making human characters and just started making troopers all the time. I'd still buy them. <laughs> um, who do we got next? We got one of the worst looking figures, I'd say, out of all Black Series. He's not bad with the helmet on, to be fair. He looks okay with the helmet on. But as soon as you take that helmet off... Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> that is not Oscar Isaac. Um, yeah. 
really, really bad Poe Dameron, I would say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're just going to put that helmet back on him and put him over here. <laughs> Who do we got next? We got... Oh, we got Vice Admiral Holdo from The Last Jedi. Um, yeah. I think I just ended up getting her in a lot with a bunch of other figures. Figured, well, what the heck, why not? Laura Dern's cool as an actress, whatever. Um, characters in the movie, in this movie in particular, um, wasn't a huge fan, but whatever. I guess she did do something kind of cool in the movie. So, there she is, Laura Dern. What do we got next? We got, we got Kylo Ren without his mask. Um, yeah. Not more to say about this one. I've seen a lot of people putting their uh, Darth Nihilus head on this body and making a different little custom Darth Nihilus because the Darth Nihilus is just pretty much a different head on top of the old Darth Maul body. So it's cool that some people are making that figure a little better because I think this is uh, this whole cloth thing is pretty cool. His legs are different. I don't know. He just looks cool. I always like this one. Um... One of my first Kylo Ren's to, that I got. Uh, who do we have next? We got we got the Force Awakens Chewy, Force Awakens Chewbacca. Um, the only reason I know that is because I think he's got a lighter brown to him and he's got those dark brown black eyes. Um, yeah, another okay figure. Um, I feel like I have most of the red box figures. Probably just missing a few like. I think there was a few comic based figures I didn't get. Like, I don't even remember the characters' names, but I tried to kind of complete them all, but uh, there was just a few I didn't really feel like I needed to get, so I messed out on a couple. Uh, who do we got next? We got another scout trooper. Just another scout trooper there. And after him, we have. We got Baze Malbus from Rogue One. Um, cool looking figure, one of the hardest figures to stand, because he has that giant, like, gun backpack thing, um, it sucks, like, it kind of sucks they're re-releasing the Rogue One figures, but, like, I get it for the people that missed out on them, so, just sucks, because, like, I feel like the Rogue One figures now are kind of hard to find, like, this one, and cheer it, maybe not cheer it as much, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. K2 maybe. I heard there was a variant when K2 first came out. We'll get we'll get into that eventually. Uh but yeah, Baze Malbus, pretty cool. I remember when he spoiled his uh character's uh his death on the uh I think it was like at San Diego Comic-Con or something when he was on the panel. I don't know. Anyways, next figure we got is the armor. The armorer. <laughs> Uh, from the Mandalorian. This is just the uh, regular box release. Um, I didn't see a reason in paying like an extra $30 to get her with like a soft th like thing right here. And like what she came with like two other accessories. I don't know. That just didn't seem like it was worth the price. It's funny because I see a lot of people trying to sell them now. And like no one's buying them. Which is hilarious. But uh, yeah. Uh, she's cool. She's badass. She sounds cool. She looks cool. Um, hope we see more of her in the next uh, season of Mandalorian. The Armorer. Armorer. <laughs> Can't really say that word. Uh, who do we got next? Oh, we need a definite upgrade for this guy. Oh, man. This guy just... Man. <laughs> when are we going to get a new Episode 3 Obi-Wan? Like... I'm loving all these new figures Hasbro's releasing, but really, just please give me an Episode 3 Obi-Wan with updated arms and updated face, please. Even if you don't update the arms, just update the head. Oh, man. And if you can, Hasbro, please include a second head. Maybe like a dirty head, like Mustafar, Burns, and whatever not all over him. Then I can swap it on, put it on this one so I don't have to completely just give this one away. Because this is uh, one of my first Black Series figures that I did get. The blue box, or the orange box, I don't remember. But yeah, Def desperately needs an upgraded face. Desperately. 
Who do we got next? We got IG-11. Another one that was uh, released in the archi archive wave. Uh, this is a blue box release, though. This is one of the, the first release. Uh, very similar to IG-11, except, of course, the paints are a little different. And he's got that, like, I forget what they call that. Uh, I don't know. I forget. Anyways, uh, yeah, pretty similar, just different paint apps. Uh, I don't mind. They're pretty badass in, uh, in uh, Mandalorian. Uh, or just IG-11, I guess. Um, who do we got next? We have... The Hoth Rebel Trooper. This one has his goggles down and has the bearded face on him. If you guys remember, the other one was just like the one it came in the box with. Uh, yeah. What more to say? We've already talked about these guys. Um, up next, we got another Mandalorian. We got Mando and his best car. This is the, the one without the removable helmet. Um, very badass figure. Um, I overpaid for him at the time. Uh, I think I paid. No, actually, no, I didn't. This one, I, uh, I think I got pre-ordered this one at EB Games. The one I showed in part one in the box, I, uh, paid a little bit more for. But, yeah, I don't know. He's badass. Still hate the rubber cape, but awesome figure. Awesome show. What do we got next? We got Solo from the Solo movie. Um, he's a decent figure. Um, this one really, really peg warmed. Um, for years after the movie came out, even at like liquidation stores, you could probably still find him. Uh, but yeah, he's not bad. He's not a bad figure. The likeness looks really good. Like I said, I didn't mind Solo. I just didn't feel like we needed it. Um, everything behind like Solo himself, like. Like the underground, like Darth Maul and all that stuff. and Like that stuff's really interesting to me. But Solo being in there, just, I don't know. I feel like they could have did a movie without him. But that's just me. Maybe just a movie about Chewbacca. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. What do we got next? We got DJ the s s s Snake. <laughs> um... What's his, what's the actor's name? Benicio Del Toro. Great actor. Um, really weird character. Uh, we didn't really see what happened to him. Like, did he die? Did he escape? We have no idea. Um, he just kind of got thrown away. He screwed over Finn and Rose and then just, like, bailed. I don't know. Um, the figure itself isn't that bad, actually. Looks like him a lot. Um, yeah. It's not a bad figure, no, but just not the greatest character. <laughs> uh, who do we got next? We got an off-world Jawa from the Mandalorian. Um, yeah, these guys are cool. Uh, and I don't have any of the other Jawas. Only on the uh, 40th anniversary card. Missed out on those guys. Who do we got next? We have... Espen Han Solo. Um, really, really great figure. I really wish I got a second one, just so I can put this head sculpt on the, uh, I guess, spoiler alert, armored Stormtrooper Han Solo, just to swap the head. But honestly, the head on that one isn't that bad. It's more the Luke. Luke's head is a little off. But uh, yeah, there's uh, Harrison Ford. Looks a lot like him. One of my favorite Solo figures. Uh, yeah, this is just a standard red box one. Never got the uh, ice one that came with Leia and the SDCC whatever exclusive. One that came with the ice display and all that. Never got that. But what do we got next? We got the first release of Hoth Luke. I guess we could just call him just a random rebel soldier now because I have the updated version. The updated version does kind of look a little weird with the face printing tech on it, but this one's not bad. Maybe eventually I'll hang this one upside down somewhere. Uh, maybe in the freezer. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. But always wanted to do that. Just leave a Luke hanging upside down in my freezer. Uh, here's another Luke. 
an older Luke. Kind of botched the paint on this one. Uh, this was like my first attempt at kind of trying to customize a figure. Um, I made this, this is the first release of Bespin Luke. I ended up just like painting his face all bloody, which is way too much blood. I know it doesn't look, he didn't look like that in the movie. It looks like he got like Negan hammered him in the face with a baseball bat or something. But uh, yeah, his hands off there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't have any use for this figure. I, I opened him and I shouldn't have. Um, he was in the orange box, of course. Um, yeah, I wish I never opened him. I should have kept him in box. Opened him up and then like literally, I think a month later, they announced uh, the new one. So that was a shame on my part, but whatever. Uh, what do we got here? We got another clone lieutenant. Another lieutenant there. Uh, who do we have next? We got uh, the Archive Yoda. Um, I missed out on the blue box Yoda. Good thing I did too because the eyes on the blue box Yoda are a little whack. So the Archive one looks a little bit more real at least. Um, he is a little bit taller than he should be. I think he's just a little, little too big. Um, if you saw earlier in part one, uh, Yoda that came with Dagobah, that one's just a little bit smaller. Um, I wish I can get a coat for this one, because I do put this one on my, uh, prequel display. So, yeah, if I do end up one day getting a little brown coat for him, and he came with a lightsaber, so I feel like it's more of a prequels Yoda. Because uh, he never used the saber in the originals because he was like really old and he didn't have to. <laughs> uh, who do we got next? We got Luke Skywalker, the Walmart exclusive Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker. Um, had I known this figure would have gone up in price, I would have probably bought two of them just to keep one in box. But there was so many like in Walmart, like he pegged and pegged one. And then what do you know? He's in the Mandalorian season two. Sorry if I spoiled that. Um, and then everybody wants them. So, yeah. It's funny how uh, the toy game works. Uh, I honestly have to say Return of the Jedi is probably my favorite Star Wars movie. Only because it was my first one that I ever watched. And just that fight scene at the end with Vader and Luke is just so emotional and just so great. And that opening Jabba's palace and everything. Oh, it's just so awesome. Anyways, what do we got next? We have Zori Bliss from Rise of Skywalker. Uh, I don't remember the actress's name that plays her. I feel like this visor comes off. I don't remember if it does. I feel like it does. So you can see her eyes. Uh, I'm not going to remove it. Uh, but yeah, she's okay. She looks cool. Shouldn't do much in the movie. Uh... I guess it's like a former friend. She's a former friend of Poe. Maybe a former, uh, maybe a for former girlfriend too. Uh, yeah, but who do we got next? Not much more to say about her. We got another Kylo Ren. Uh, I think this is just the last Jedi Kylo Ren because he has a scar on his face. It's not even, you can't even really see it. Um, yeah. I think this one I got dirt cheap as well, like five bucks or something. Kylo Ren. Ooh, we got a fan favorite next here. We got Captain Rex. This figure is awesome, man. One of my favorite Black Series figures. I mean, the character himself is just great. The look of the figure is awesome. His helmet comes off. There's Rexy right there. He's got a few scuffs on his face, which kind of sucks. But I never have him with his helmet on anyway, so. Then again, it's probably from just rubbing off in the paint in there. Who knows, but look at that helmet. He's got all the check marks and, well, not check marks, but tallies for all the droids he's taken out. He even has them on his wrist there. Like, this guy's badass, man. One of the coolest characters in Star Wars. Him and Cody, both badass. Captain Rex. What do we got next? We got the Archive, new released Han Solo. Um, Hoth gear with the brown coat this time instead of a blue coat. Um, honestly, 
I think I'm with everybody else that I think I like the blue coat better on them. Uh, the face is obviously way better. A little bit shiny, but looks cool. Um, apparently, some shots in the movie, it's blue and sometimes it's brown. I don't know. Maybe it was just the way the camera was back in the day. But the original figure, like the back in the 1980 or whatever, um, it, he had a blue coat. So a lot of people probably are cool with the blue coat because that brings them back to their childhood, which I totally get and I'm I'm all for. So, yeah. This is also a figure I'm giving away in my uh, 1,000 follower Instagram giveaway. Stay tuned for that video coming out this weekend. I am going to let everybody know how to enter. And, yeah, expect that later today or tomorrow on the channel. There's Hoth, Hoth Solo. <laughs> what do we got next? We got, oh man, one of my newest uh, figures that I got. Um, the Gamorrean Guard. Hell yeah, man. I don't remember if I've already talked about one of these in, uh, part one or not. I don't think I have, but, uh, yeah. Didn't think I'd ever get these guys, man, but shout out to E-Collectibles here in Canada. He had a bunch of them on his site. I ordered two of them. They came super fast. Shipping was not bad at all, and, yeah, it was just awesome. I'm honestly thinking about getting some more if he has them. But I think I have two for now, so that should do it. Um, one of the best Black Series figures that they've released to this day, man. Like, he was a Toys R Us exclusive here in Canada. I missed out on him. Um, but yeah, just one of the best figures. Detail is amazing. The armor, the fur, even this is so soft. Like, that is super soft. Um, yeah, what more to say? Like... They're just so cool looking. <laughs> they just scream Star Wars to me. What do we have next? We got Rebels Ahsoka. We got Ahsoka from Rebels. She's uh, the first release, so not the re-release. You can kind of tell that by looking at her face. I didn't see a reason to get all the new ones again. Uh, yeah, she looks cool. She's kind of hard to stand. Sometimes you have to kind of like bend one of the knees and... Get her in some kind of weird pose, but there we go. <laughs> Ahsoka. We have next. We got the carbonized stormtrooper. Um, yeah, he's not bad. Mine, however, this part sticks out for some reason. It's like gun holster. Uh, don't know why, but cool. He's shiny. He's nice. I have a uh, second one in the box. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Reminds me of the, I think it's like the second gen Shadow Troopers. Not Shadow Troopers, sorry. Dark Troopers? No, is it Dark Troopers? I don't know. The ones that were in the Mandalorian, the robot ones, I guess they had like different phases of those. Um, this one kind of reminds me of like the phase like one or two when they still had like a human inside the suit. And they had like a jetpack from, I'm thinking about Battlefront 1. That's what I'm thinking of. Battlefront. The video game from 2004. Kind of reminds me of those guys. Uh, just not as bulky, I guess. Who do we have next? We got Greedo. One of the first Black Series. Actually, this actually might have been the first Black Series figure I ever got. Um, him and Han Solo from A New Hope. I remember getting them. Selling them and then rebuying them again. So, Yeah. This wasn't the one that came with the cantina or anything. Just standard orange box. Um, still a great figure to this day. Um, surprised he didn't get re-released in the uh, archive wave. I feel like a lot of people would have wanted Greedo. But they did come out with a, a re-release, kind of. Um, they made one that kind of looks more similar to the 1977 version. So that's cool. All right. Who do we have next? We have a lot of figures here, guys. Like, I don't know how long this one's going to be. Uh, we got, is it Dryden? Dryden Voss from Solo. Paul Bettany's character. The Vision. <laughs> um, yeah, another character that's okay, I guess. Um, looks cool. Um, from Solo, obviously. Uh, yeah. 
what more to say? I guess you see a little sneak peek of him in the Clone Wars, too. I think it was. I think it was the Clone Wars. Yeah. But anyways, pretty cool. Dryden Boss. If that's not his name, I feel very stupid. <laughs> uh, who do we have? Another Hoth, Hoth uh, Rebel Trooper. This one has the goggles and the mask going over. So yeah, so many different ways to pose these guys. So many different ways you can uh, display them. So they're really, really awesome. Hoth Troopers. This pile is going to get really big in front of us. Who do we got next? We got another Poe Dameron. This one has a way better face than the other one, but even this one still doesn't look 100%. But this was right before they, uh, they brought in the uh, face tech technology, so face printing technology. So still looks okay, whatever. I think I paid like five bucks for them, so it's not bad. We should have probably got an updated one for uh, the last, or the Rise of Skywalker. But we never got like any figures for that movie, which is really lame. Really, really, really lame. Um, next we have the first release, um, Palpatine in the blue box. You can tell because he has the rubber bottom part here. I ended up putting one of the newer heads on his head, though. I swapped his old head out and put one of the other heads that came with the uh, Amazon exclusive one. But the only problem is, I think when I put this one on, I almost broke the neck peg, so it's like it's just sitting on there like if i try to move it it might snap but uh he's just going to be standing in the background by snoke anyways that's kind of this emperor that i use it that's the where i display him now anyways in my sequel collection uh who do we have next we got samuel l jackson um uh, mace windu yeah he did come with the robe. I did put it on Qui-Gon. I said that in part one, I believe. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, they just re-released him for the Lucasfilm 50th anniversary. In the uh, Phantom Menace shiny card backs. He does look cool in that packaging. But honestly, he, does not, he doesn't really do much in the first movie. So to bring him back for, for that didn't really make sense. Especially in the... Uh, if you guys remember the original uh, Mace Windu figure that came out for The Force Awakens came with a blue lightsaber because they didn't know that he was going to have a purple lightsaber because he didn't use his lightsaber in the first movie. He used it in the second one. So, little fun fact for you there. Uh, actually, apparently it says BMF on his uh, lightsaber too. Just a little insider there. Um, here's another off-world Jawa. This one has his gun in his back. They're cool. What do we have here? We got Anakin from Episode 2. Uh, Would have been cool if he came with a detachable arm. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, he's not bad. He looks cool. Um, I think this was from the last Red Box wave, I believe. And that wave with Obi-Wan and Fisto and Plo Koon. So yeah, he's cool. Attack of the Clones, Anakin. Not bad. What do we got next? Oh, we got another one from that wave. We got the, uh, the Kit Fisto. Uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Always liked this guy. In the uh, Tarkovsky animated series, he was really badass. Uh, yeah, what more to say about Kit Fisto? <laughs> I feel like he's kind of, he might be kind of hard to get now that he was in the last Red Box wave, but. He also just dies in like a second in the movie, which really sucks. But he's still pretty cool. He did die by Sidious, at least. Uh, who do we got next? We got Rose Tico. Um, very basic looking figure. Another one I got dirt cheap. Um, she's okay, I guess. Didn't hate her as much as everyone else did. Um, I just did think that the scene where they go to the casino was just kind of weird. Just didn't feel like it was a Star Wars movie. Felt like I was watching something else. But like, I had to look at my friend, and even in the theater, I looked at my friend and said, wait, we're watching Star Wars, right? Like, this is this is Star Wars? And, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, she's okay. I don't hate her. She's cool. What do we got next? We got... Dengar. 
Man, did I miss playing. I miss playing as Dengar in Battlefront. It's really a shame they didn't include him in uh, Battlefront 2. What, what did he used to say? Oh, yeah, he's, he used to say, um, you're going to take a dirt nap. <laughs> he's awesome. Uh, another one that I feel like is kind of hard to get now. Um, it took me forever to complete my Bounty Hunters. But, yeah, he's just badass. I think he's cool. Dengar. Who we got next? We got Ray. Ray. We got Ray. Um, this is the one that shows up at the end of uh, Force Awakens to hand Luke his lightsaber. I guess beginning of Last Jedi. Um, I do have her on my shelf holding the uh, lightsaber like that. Like she's handing it off to Luke. Because that scene was really cool at the end there. Um, what wasn't cool was what happened after the fact, but we'll skip that. Uh, but yeah, great likeness. I think she looks good. One of my favorite Ray figures, actually. I'm not going to lie. Another one I got super cheap, too. <laughs> uh, here's an, actually uh, here's another Ray we got from Last Jedi. This is the... Uh, I th oh, was it a deluxe packaging? I don't remember. Um, I think the other one didn't have soft goods. Just a standard red box one. The face looked a little better. So I got it. Uh, she came with like metal pieces or something. Metal lightsaber, metal gun. I don't know. But yeah, I was really pumped for Last Jedi. I don't hate it, hate it. I just don't think it was, uh, I don't know, just didn't, I don't know. Everyone's got a different opinion on it, so I don't know. I I don't think it's horrible, but I don't think it's great either. So, uh, what do we got next? That's a topic for a different day. We got, um, God, what the hell? Why can't I remember this guy's name? Admiral Akbar. Jesus, how did I forget his name? I just got stuck thinking about Last Jedi. And my, my brain went all to mush. <laughs> uh, we got Admiral Akbar here. It's a trap. <laughs> um. Great figure, great looking figure. Sucks he had to die too in the Star Wars universe. Uh, yeah, what do they call these guys? Calamari. They call these guys Calamari. They just look so cool. Just big fish guy. His voice is awesome too. It's a trap. <laughs> uh, yeah, Admiral Akbar. What do we got here? We got three PO from uh, the Rise of Skywalker because he has his uh. His, like, uh, I forget what they call it. His head. <laughs> we'll just call it his head. His head's open, being, uh, worked on by Babu Frick. Babu Frick is in my accessory bin. Uh, I didn't want to lose him, so. I do have Babu Frick. He was pretty cool in the movie. He was probably one of the best parts about that movie, to be honest. Um, but yeah. There's, uh, 3PO. Um, I really thought he was gonna die in this one. <laughs> I don't know why. And I really thought he was going to actually shoot the uh, crossbow. Because he came with the crossbow, I'm pretty sure. And everyone thought that maybe C-3PO was just going to like pick up the crossbow and start taking out troopers. That's what I thought was going to happen. I don't think that happened. I don't even remember. I've only seen that movie twice. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments. Does C-3PO shoot the crossbow in the movie? I feel like he just holds it for like a second. So, like, what was the point of including him with the crossbow? I don't know. It speculated everyone thinking he was going to use it, but he never did. Uh, what do we have next? Another one I kind of recently got that I was really looking for for a while there. We got Skiff Lando from Jabba's Palace. They just look so good together with the Gamorrean guards. And like I said, Return of the Jedi is my favorite Star Wars, so... Yeah. Awesome. Skiff Lando. Who do we have next? We got the Shadow Trooper. Um, I don't remember if this is a game in greats. I think it is. It's for uh, Force Unleashed, right? Yeah, these guys are from the Force Unleashed. Um, he looks really cool when you aim him towards the light. Kind of. If you can kind of see that. See through him and whatnot. Um, yeah, he's cool. I almost got another one, but... I don't know. This older mold is kind of going away now. They have a new Stormtrooper mold out there, so... 
Yeah, he looks cool. Sh uh, Shadow Trooper, I think. <laughs> uh, who do we got here? We got another Electro Staff Trooper. Uh, I believe we saw one in the in part one. I did get two of them. Uh, just to go beside the uh, Inquisitor. Not bad. We got next. We got K two S O. Uh, a funny character. I like them. Uh, Alan Tudyk played him. Uh, he's a good actor too. If you guys know Alec Tudyk, is it Alec Tudyk? Alec Tudyk or something? I don't know. Anyways, he's a. I think he's British. Good actor. Um, you are being rescued. <laughs> he's great. I like. I love Rogue One. Rogue One was great. I don't care what anyone says. I feel like there's some hate on it, but I liked it. Uh, what do we got next? We got the, uh, uh, Gu uh Guavian Enforcer. Is that the name? Uh, Force Awakens. They show up for, like, five seconds and get eaten by squid, squid monsters. Uh, what are those things called? Rath, Rath Tars? I don't remember. Uh, yeah. It looks kind of cool, I guess. Another one I kind of wish I got two of, just because there's... Like an army of them, kind of. Not an army, but a squad, I guess. Uh, who we got next? We got a flame trooper. The flame trooper, man. I remember going into Walmart. I think I have three or four of these. Um, I think I might have even sold some. They were like $10. They were like the only ones on the pegs for a while. And I was like, you know what? They were 10 bucks. I bought like four or five of them. I think I only opened up three and sold the rest. Um, maybe only opened up two and sold the rest. I don't even remember, but these guys pegged warm for a while until they dropped the 10 bucks and then everyone just cleared them up, which is to be understandable. I mean, I get it. We build army flame troopers. Uh, who do we have next? We got Hera from Rebels. Um, first release didn't get the re-release. I think she still looks great actually. Um, yeah. Didn't see a need to get an updated version of her. She still looks fine. Uh, yeah. Hera. The captain of the ghost, I guess. Who do we have next? We have Darth Revan. A character I don't know anything about. I will be completely honest. I don't know anything about this guy. I know he's from a video game. Knights of the Old Republic. But I have never played the game. I'm just not really into those kind of RPG type games. I get really bored. Um, one day I told myself I'd give it a chance. So maybe one day when I start maybe a gaming channel or something, we'll, uh, we'll give her a try. Because I do plan on doing that one day, starting a gaming channel. Uh, but we'll get there eventually. There's Darth Revan. What we got next? We got Chewbacca. Um, this one... Is pretty much the exact same one as the one that came with 3PO, except he came in the 40th uh, Empire card. Except this one, I found at a liquidation store, the card was mangled and it was like taped together. And like, I think I got them for like 10 bucks. So I ended up just using this as my uh, Return of the Jedi Chewbacca. I'm trying to get like each character for each movie. Um, at least the main, like, four or five people, like Solo, Luke, Leia, and Chewie, and 3PO, and that's why I said I might get another R2 eventually, just so I can put him in, like, the Return of the Jedi section, maybe have, like, Luke's saber sticking out, where he gives it to him on the, on the, uh, sail barge, but yeah, one day. <laughs> <coughs> Who do we got next? We have the TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter Pilot, one that took me forever to get. Um, this isn't even the uh, original release. This is the uh, 40th Anniversary Empire. I think it's Empire. Yeah, Empire. Uh, carded one. I ended up getting two of them, opening up one. I really wanted to open up the other one, but he's on the wall right now. So, yeah, I always like to look for these guys. TIE Fighter Pilots. Who do we have next? We got... Snoke. We got some Snoke. Andy Circus. Um this is just the regular release. Did not get a throne version. 
Um, I couldn't find the throne version anywhere. Missed out on it. Ended up getting this version, and then what do you know, like three weeks later, I find the throne version on Marketplace, and I go to a toy show, I see it for a decent price, and I'm like, oh man, I should have just waited. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a throne for them. I ended up using like mega blocks and like taping them all black just to like cover up the colors. And it looks kind of weird, but it does the trick. He sits on there and I have him doing his force hand thing to Ray. Um, yeah, I mean, he was an okay character. He had potential. I guess we're, we kind of know what happened to him now and why he came to be. So at least they explained it. I was kind of baffled in Last Jedi when he just died and we still didn't get to know like who he was or anything because like think about it like everyone knew who the Emperor was and then this guy just comes out of nowhere and we're just supposed to just say okay this is just Supreme Leader Snoke who like why is he Supreme Leader where did he come from no one knows turns out he was a clone okay we get it now whatever <laughs> those movies were not planned at all and it shows uh, what do we have next? We have Force Ghost Obi-Wan Kenobi. This was one I really thought to keep in box. I was like, I'm going to keep him in box, whatever. But then I thought, you know what? Screw it. We need more figures from Return of the Jedi. And he can be in my Return of the Jedi display. Talking to Luke on Dagobah. Or he could be, I guess, in Empire too, Talking to Luke and Hoth. Telling him to go to Dagobah. But, uh, yeah. He looks cool. He's translucent and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Ben Kenobi. What do we have next? We got Leia from Force Awakens. Old, old lady Leia. Um, yeah, she's not bad. Face printing technology is not there, but still looks good, I think. Good enough. Uh, yeah, she's cool. She's royalty. Who do we have next? We have a shore trooper, or is it like a captain, officer, shore trooper? I don't remember. Um, yeah, the only difference between this one and the other one is I believe he has a rubber part here, and he has blue and red right there. So not too much different than the other shore trooper there. But I think they are different ranks, so... Yep, not bad, not bad. Always cool with the troopers. Uh, who do we got next? We got another Stormtrooper. I believe this is just a standard orange box. Wave 1 or 2, I guess. Wave 1. Stormtrooper. Black Series, Wave 1. Yep, not bad, not bad. Alright, we're kind of getting to the bottom, kind of, I would say. Uh, maybe not. There's still a lot left. This might be a long one, folks. Uh, who do we have here? Darth Nihilus. Um, he's cool. The cape is cool. The head is kind of cool. I feel like the paint is... I feel like he's missing some paint. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't played the game. I just know, like, the front cover and whatnot. But yeah, this is just straight up Darth Maul with a cape and a different head. Maybe a different piece of cloth, cloth right here. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I should have kept this one in box, I think. Kind of regret opening this one, to be honest. Cause, just because I have nowhere to put him and Darth Revan on my display. Like, I don't really know, like, where to display them. I kind of go by, like, movie on my shelf. Like, here's... Well, I plan on going by that when I do get my new shelf. Plan on going, like, movie by movie, scene by scene kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, these guys are just... A horror for my collection because I just don't know where the hell to display them. Um, I guess I'll have a shelf for like Old Republic, I guess. I do plan on getting like a Calyx shelf, like the square cubes to have like different scenes in each cube kind of thing. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with those guys when uh, displaying comes, when the display comes. Uh, what do we have next? We got Hondo Onaka, Toys R Us exclusive. Galaxy's Edge exclusive, I guess they call it. Um, I do have a second one of these. And 
stay tuned for him because he will be included in a future giveaway. You heard it here first. So if you stuck around 45 minutes, you get a little uh, longer. You stick around in the videos, you get some uh, some insight on uh, future videos. So yeah, he's pretty cool, funny character, great character in the Clone Wars, and I guess he's in Rebels also. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. He was a little bit extra than regular Black Series figures. Um, I guess because he was an exclusive, I don't know. But it's always uh, lame when they just charge an extra ten bucks for a figure that. Doesn't really come with anything extra besides a different box, but whatever. Uh, we have one Royal Guard. Uh, yeah, Royal Guard. Imperial, is it Royal Imperial or Imperial Royal? I don't remember, but um, yeah, they're pretty cool. They just stand by the Emperor there on his throne, looking all badass. Um, I want to see these guys in action, man. <laughs> we saw in The Last Jedi the Snoke's guys do stuff i want to see uh these guys do stuff man they just stand there in the original trilogy so i'm sure they do stuff in the comics and whatnot i know there is a new figure a new black series figure coming out that looks like this that's from a comic or something i don't remember who it is but i don't read the comics so yeah <laughs> uh, who do we have next we have is it bausch or bausch bausch or bausch i don't know Bausch Leia, Princess Leia, um, a blue box figure, this was one of those ones I got from Walmart for $10 one day, which was insane, um, it's crazy, when you just started collect, like, I just started getting into the Black Series, and, like, what, what were the chances of me just going there and finding a whole wave for 10 bucks? like, that's nuts, in Canada, and that's, that's nuts, um, the face isn't the greatest, but, that's okay because she will never really have this helmet off on my shelf anyways so i always like the voice for her too when she wears this mask yate yato <laughs> um yeah i'm pretty sure she came with a thermal detonator oh yeah she did it's right here on her you can actually peg it on her belt there that's pretty pretty cool um yeah awesome figure i actually pose her with my uh with this one right here I just got to get some uh, binders to for Chewie's hands there. But yeah, all right. We're at 47 minutes, and we still got, like, a good chunk left here. So hmm, should we save it for part three? Should we keep going? Hmm. I say we keep going. All right, let's keep going. We're going to show off Finn. FN2187 from The Force Awakens. What more to say? A lot of people said he looks like Tracy Morgan. Um, I kind of see that, but I also think he looks like John Boyega. So, I don't know. I think he looks more like John Boyega than he does Tracy Morgan. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, not bad. Cool character, a lot of potential, and he was wasted. I will say he was wasted. What do we got next? We have the TIE Fighter pilot that came with the giant TIE Fighter. I do not have the TIE Fighter. I got this at a uh, liquidation store, I believe. Um, but yeah, cool to have the figure, but I don't have the uh, giant uh, TIE Fighter. I don't even know if it's called the TIE Fighter anymore, to be honest. <laughs> they might have changed the name for it in that movie. Uh... We have another clone. Uh, don't know the rank. Maybe commander. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what the green clone rank is. Do not remember. I'm going to run out of room here soon. Uh, who do we have? Next, we have another Gamoring guard. Yeah, we've already talked about him. Love how the mouth opens. We'll put him right there. What do we got next? We got Jin Urso. Another one that peg warmed for ages and ages. Um, she's an okay figure. Never picked up the uh, deluxe one that came with the base and the hat and the, the wet winter gear that she wore. I don't know if it was winter gear. I guess it's just... Forget what planet that was, that was on. I forget the name. But, uh... 
yeah, she's okay. Whatever. Jin or so. Um, she'll be a nice uh, upgrade once they re-release her again. I don't know if I'll get it. I've been thinking about it, but not too not too sure. Uh, what do we have next? We have everyone's favorite Jar Jar Banks. Um, deluxe figure that didn't need to be a deluxe figure. He should have just been in a standard box like this, but he wasn't. He got released in a deluxe box, and then he got re-released in the Phantom Menace 50th Anniversary Lucasfilm packaging. But honestly, for a figure, he is pretty cool, I will say. Articulation is awesome. Um, the look is cool. I wish his mouth moved. I wish you could open his mouth and stuff and had his tongue sticking out. And that would have been cool. Um, but yeah, it was about time we got a Jar Jar. Um... I feel like the Phantom Menace isn't as hated as it was back in the day. I think because a lot of people are grown up now and they grew up with that movie, like me. Um, where you just you look past the whole it was stupid thing and just uh, you just like it because nostalgic reasons, right? Like he was on everything. Like I remember going to the store and just like you'd see Jar Jar Binks and Darth Maul and everything, like clothing, toys like birthday party stuff and like oh he was just all over the place i remember having a frisbee i think it was like a taco bell jar jar banks frisbee i don't know <laughs> anyways who do we have next here we got big zeb from rebels another awesome deluxe figure awesome character um i guess this species is based off of concept art for what chewbacca was gonna look like in the original movies, which is kind of cool. A little history there. Um, yeah, just a great figure, man. I love this guy. Great character, great figure. Still have to finish Rebels, unfortunately. I still have, like, five episodes to watch. Um, I gotta get on that. Uh, what do we have next? We got two of Snoke's... Um, I forget the names. Something something Guards. Petronian or something? I don't even remember. But, uh, yeah, I've got two of them just to go stand beside Snoke by his throne. So, they look okay. Put them back there. What we got next? We got the Hover Tank Pilot, I think. The Hover Tank Pilot. This is the original release, not the archive. Um, I didn't see on, I didn't see a point in getting another one. I just, I don't know. I, he looks okay, I guess. He's cool. It's just, I don't think I need more than one, uh, pilot. Or driver for a vehicle I don't own. So, yeah. One was enough for me. He looks cool. Who do we have next? We have Han Solo. With uh, Chewie's uh, bowcaster bag there on him. Uh, I think this is the one that came with this 3PO. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just threw it on Solo there. Um, it is cool when he picks up Chewie's... Uh, bowcaster and shoots shoot some troopers with it where the heck does the arm bend here what the heck there it is okay i was tripping out there for a sec look at that isn't that that doesn't look right does it never noticed that before oh look at that yeah so there's a old man han his hair probably should have been a little bit more grayer it's a little bit too brown but whatever i still think he's cool um I remember seeing a video like a year ago, someone toy hunting, and there was still one of these Han Solos on the shelf, and I'm like, wow, I'm surprised. I thought he would have been uh, a little bit more, like, well, people, I thought people really liked him as a figure. Maybe not. Uh, who do we have next? We got Lando from Bespin. We got the updated version with the face printing tech. A lot of people say that they like the old one better, and I don't know what the heck they're talking about, because that looks more like a real person than the other one does, so I don't know why people think the other one looks better. I mean, I get it if you don't want to buy another figure that you already have, but for not buying it because you think the old one looks better, I, I don't know, man. Come on, look at that. That looks real good. Like, come on. How can people say it doesn't look good? I don't know. Anyways, uh, Bespin Lando. I do have three of these guys. I mean, I have, or I have this one. I have one on card, 
and then I have the first release loose, and then I have the first release in box. Um, the first release in box will probably be given away in the future. So if you guys want the OG version, um, stay tuned and be subscribed and all that jazz. Uh, who do we have next? We have the Tarkovsky Red Cheeks Obi-Wan. Um, yeah, <laughs> what more to say? Uh, he's all right. He's not bad. Um, I did pre-order the new one, so that's cool. More accurate Clone Wars look to him. But I guess this is, like I said, from the Tarkov Tarkovsky Clone Wars. So there is a difference in look to him. Um, but I feel like the head should have been different. I feel like they should have picked, like, this head for him. This Episode 2 uh, Obi-Wan head. Because I feel like in the Tar Tarkovsky show, he had long hair when he wore this outfit. But I could be wrong. He might have had it, had it with the short hair, too. Um, actually, now that I'm remembering, I think he did in, uh, season two or volume two of that, uh, Tarkovsky, he might have had short hair, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Would have been cool to get a long haired Obi-Wan in, uh, clone armor, I think. Uh, but yeah, here's the, uh, episode two Obi-Wan. Uh, the only one I didn't get at EB Games the day I got the rest of the wave, I ended up getting him after from a buddy, so... He's okay. Uh, still don't get to this day. I know Red, Le Red Letter Media has talked about it. The part in the movie where he jumps out the window onto that drone and like hangs on it and whatnot. In episode two. That sh honestly should have been Anakin. Like I don't know. Like go back and watch episode two and you watch that scene. Obi Wan's sitting there telling Anakin, you know, think use the Force. Don't like don't quickly react and like all that stuff. And Obi-Wan just does the exact opposite and does exactly, like, the opposite thing of what he just said. I don't know. It just made no sense. I've always wondered that. Even before I saw that Red Letter Media review, I always thought, like, why the hell did Obi-Wan jump out the window there? It seems like Anakin should have done that, but whatever. That's my little rant for that scene in the movie. Uh, what do we have here? We got the Flame Trooper again. Basic Flame Trooper. What we have here, we have Snow Patrol Captain or something. Um, First Order Snow Trooper with the little band on his shoulder there. This one was the Toys R Us exclusive. Can't believe that. Oh, look at that. The joint's like yellowing. Um, don't know why I got this. I think I just got it just because I was bored one day and I went to Toys R Us and didn't have anything. Except for this. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm getting a snow trooper again. Uh, what do we have here? We have the Walmart exclusive Camino trooper. Uh, another one I was lucky to get because I didn't find him in stores. Um, my buddy of mine actually found him and hooked me up. Uh, thanks, John, if you're watching. Uh, yeah. Camino trooper. Always cool to have different varieties, different styles. Uh, who do we got next? We got another First Order Snow Trooper, just a basic one without the uh, strap thing there. And next we got Ezra, Ezra Bridger with his helmet on. There he is without his helmet. This is the new one, the modern, or not modern, recent release with the updated face. Just because he's the only one I missed out on. Uh, yeah, he looks cool. His lightsaber is really cool. I like how he has a gun slash lightsaber. So, that's pretty badass about him. Still gonna finish Rebels. I'm gonna say that a million times. Uh, oh, we got three of the same guys here. So I might as well pull them all out at once. We got the Ahsoka clone trooper Italian guys. I really wish they would re-release this figure with just the regular blue paint. Because uh, that figure, I feel like, is harder to get now. Because I think he was only released in a four-pack. The 501st Trooper. So, yeah. These guys look cool. Did buy a bunch of them when I found a whole case of them. They had two cases of these guys. So, I did leave a lot for other collectors to get. So, yeah. Awesome. Ahsoka Troopers. And who we got here? We got... Is it Kira... 
Kira, I think her name is. Kira from Solo. Um, yeah, she wore this outfit, I think, in the beginning of the movie. Um, played by the uh, actress from Game of Thrones, Amelia Clark. Uh, yeah, she's cool, I guess. Not bad. She's pretty. <laughs> uh, who do we have next? We got, ooh, we got Leia in her Endor gear. Um, the poncho is really weird. I feel like it sticks out a bit much. Um, but other than that, great, great figure. Her helmet does come off to have her awesome braided hair look to her. Um, I feel like mine has a little bit too glossy eyes. Like the eyes are a little bit too shiny. But other than that and the poncho being a little weird. But then again, that's probably just how it's supposed to be. Um, great figure. Love Return of the Jedi. Love the scene where she meets Wicket and tries to feed him and take care of him and whatnot. That's cool. Princess Leia, rest in peace. Beautiful. <sighs> Who do we have next? We have Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. One I ordered on Amazon and it got cancelled on me. But thank God my sister was at Walmart and... She found a whole case of Black Series figures, and this was one of them. Um, she ended up picking up him and Quill for me, so awesome. Uh, he did come with the dark saber. Um, he is a very, very, very cool-looking villain. Just very menacing. Any role that uh, Giancarlo Esposito plays, he's very like menacing and evil, and he's just awesome. Breaking Bad's one of the best shows ever, so if you haven't watched Breaking Bad, go watch Breaking Bad and see his true acting skills. Uh, who do we have next? We got another Mandalorian figure. We got, um, oh man, Jesus, I can't remember his name. Carl Weathers, the actor. Um, geez, I can't remember his name. Wow, that's gonna that's gonna bug me. Grief Karga. That's his name. Grief Karga. Grief Karga. Um, a lot of people think the face isn't that great. But I think it's just, just like the wrinkles around his eyes are what makes him look weird. Um, yeah. And I don't really like to talk about this much, but I do think he, his skin should have been maybe a little bit darker. I feel like... Um, uh, Carl Weathers is just a little bit darker skin than this, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, yeah. He is one of the most badass actors ever, too. Like, the guy's in Rocky, he's in Predator, he's Happy Gilmore. <laughs> so, yeah, like, he's just, he's just awesome. So, so happy to have a Carl Weathers action figure. We do need one from NECA, though. Come on, NECA, make us a Carl Weathers for Predator. <laughs> What do we got here? We got Chewbacca in the blue box. I think this is the first Chewbacca release. Um, yeah, just basic looking Chewy there, screaming. We've seen a couple other Chewies already, so we'll put him back there. What do we have here? We got Luke in the Endor outfit here. The poncho and everything. Um, another Luke to add to the collection. He's not bad at all. That's what he looks like without his helmet. A lot of people like this uh, face sculpt from Mark Hamill. Um, I don't mind it. His hair looks just like it's a little squished, obviously, because of the helmet. I see a lot of people just taking the poncho off and using this as their uh, Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. I don't blame him. It looks, It's still badass. But uh, for me, I'm just going to keep this outfit on him and keep the, keep the helmet on him. Um... Yeah, Luke Skywalker. Endor. You know what's really going to suck, guys, is putting all these figures back in the bin and just waiting until I can display them. That's going to be the hardest part. This is just going to go all back in the bin. Uh, who do we got next? We got... Uh, Maz? Is it Maz? Maz something? Maz Kanata or something? Uh... 
yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I honestly don't even remember her name. <laughs> I think it's Maz. Um, I remember I loved Force Awakens. I didn't love it, but I was like, I was really happy. I was like, okay, it's good. It's it's let's see where this goes. The only thing I didn't like about Force Awakens was how she had Luke's lightsaber from Empire that he dropped when his hand got cut off. She ended up just having it in her bar in the basement in a chest. Like, that was never explained in the movies how the hell that got there. I heard you had to, like, go read a book or a comic or something, and I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Um, so, yeah, I still don't know to this day how the hell Ray has Luke's lightsaber. Someone can let me know in the comments how Maz got it. That would uh, be awesome because that still puzzles me to this day is how the hell she got that lightsaber. And even Han Solo asks, where did you get that? And she just goes, a story for another time. So another time that we never heard. So I don't know. Uh, anyways, who do we have next? We got the bloody Finn. The Finn with the blood mark on his helmet, which is crazy because I feel like Black Series rarely puts blood on anything. Um, we got the Wampa that had blood on it, and I can't think of anything else. Uh, but yeah, here's Finn. Look at that. Some of the white paint's starting to come off on his uh, eyebrows there. Yeah, there's Finn and his uh, First Order Stormtrooper. Sor First Order Stormtrooper helmet. Sorry, guys. I'm slurring my words. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna fly through the next ones, guys. We're gonna fly through them. This guy, Death Star guy, basic look to him. Got another clone trooper here, another clone lieutenant. We have a phase one clone trooper. Really want more of these ones, man. Not gonna lie, but. Very hard to come by. Um, I wish I found a case of these guys, man. Shit. Um, I just like the old first-gen look to them. It brings me back to being a kid and getting this giant cereal box that came with one of these. and It was awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, there's Phase 1 Clone Trooper. Who we got next? We got the Range Trooper. I forget what these guys are called from Solo. Um, they look cool. Um, yeah, figures are gonna start flying here. Uh, yeah, he looks pretty cool. I kind of wish I got another one of these. Maybe I'll get another one in the future, but they are cool looking. We got, we got oops, almost dropped him there. We got a jump trooper from uh, The Rise of Skywalker. I always forget the name of that movie. Um, yeah, jump trooper, not bad, first order. Video is a little long, guys. I'm sorry. Hopefully, you guys are comfortable and enjoying it. Um, if I had to guess how many figures are left, I'd probably say like 30. So yeah, let's buckle up a little bit longer, guys. Here we have the AT AT driver, I think, or AT something something. I don't remember. It's from Rogue One. Looks cool. Uh, next we got. A snow Trooper from Empire Strikes Back. Another one of my favorite looks for the Troopers. Um, little, uh, what's it called? History lesson here. Um, I don't have it with me here now, but uh, maybe I'll insert a picture right here if I can. I don't know if I can or not. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not, but... Um, if you guys have the original Battlefront 2 video game, the original one that came out in 2004, if you look at the snow troopers on the front cover of that game, they're actually action figures because you can see the, the peg joints in them. If you really, really like zoom in and look at the front cover of that game. So, yeah, I don't know if a lot of people know that, but I don't know if it's every trooper on the front a toy, but at least a couple of them are for sure toys or figurines of some kind i don't know what they would have used back in 2004 to do that because the black series wasn't around yet but just a little uh a little fun fact for you if you got that game something i noticed when i was a kid i always wondered about it uh next we got ray skywalker i guess we'll call her um i saw a lot of them come out with really really bad face printing on them mine kind of 
I feel like is off a tad. Um, I remember one in the Facebook groups I was in when I posted her, someone said, oh, nice, you got the resting bitch face, uh, Ray, <laughs> which uh, kind of looks like that. So, yeah, she's cool. Uh, best Ray figure, I guess, to date. Uh, who do we have next? We got Bosk. One of my favorite Black Series figures that I own. Um, my favorite character to use in Battlefront 2. I actually maxed him out. <laughs> um, I do play a lot of co-op, though, so it was very easy to rank him up very fast. But, uh, yeah, Bosk. I will collect the prize on your head. <laughs> he's just so cool looking. I hope he comes back. I really, really hope he's in the Book of Boba Fett. Like, I really hope he wasn't on the uh, sail barge when it blew. But we'll see, I guess. Uh, who do we got next? We got Admiral Piet from uh, Empire Strikes Back. Another awesome figure. I mean, not awesome, awesome, but it's always cool to have these ranking officer guys. Um, I don't know. There's just something about... They're just so, like, evil and English. <laughs> I don't know. Something cool about them. Uh, what do we got here? You got a Death Trooper from probably the Red Box. Oh, yeah, definitely the Red Box because I never opened up my archive. Um, I do wish I had the Death Trooper that came in the three-pack with Jin and Cassian because that one comes with, like, that shoulder piece here. And not having a Death Trooper with one of those shoulder pieces really bugs me because I feel like, at least in the, like Mandalorian and everything, at least one Death Trooper has one of those, which I would assume he, which makes him like the heavy Death Trooper or maybe like the squad leader Death Trooper. I don't know, but yeah. So hopefully get one of those one day. Um, here is a quick little custom I did. Um, this is the farm boy Luke body from the red box. I just swapped uh, Yavin Luke's head on him. Um, I do have to put some sticky tack under there because his head does kind of pop down sometimes. So I do have to like just grab it and pull it up a bit. And I think it looks great. Um, I think this is the gr the best head for Mark Hamill for the first movie. Um, yeah. Um, pretty easy custom to do. Um, especially because the Yavin Luke was peg-warmed for so long and he was on sale and discounted and on clearance. So I ended up picking one up for 10 bucks just for the head, just to put on this guy. And I think it looks good. So yeah, there's a uh, farm boy Luke. Custom farm boy Luke. What do we got here? We got Ben Kenobi. Red box, first release, Ben Kenobi. Um, kind of wish I got that one that came with the table and the Leia message and hologram and stuff, but missed out on that. I could have probably bought it after the fact I got this one, but I just didn't see a point having two Obi-Wans. So, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here is our next guy. We got Chirrut Imwe. Um, I do have doubles of him, so... Expect him to be uh, added in a giveaway video very soon, possibly. Um, yeah, so if you guys are a Chirrut Imway fan and you don't have him, stay tuned to the channel. I thought he was the coolest character in Rogue One. Um, the funniest part is when they put a blindfold over him and he's like, Are you kidding me? I am blind! <laughs> so, yeah, he's cool. Um, emotional scene where he died, too. That was kind of emotional. Um, we got some construction going on outside. I'm just going to shut my window. Sorry, guys. Just a little loud there. Somebody sanding something. Uh, what we got here? Next we have Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is the first release. Um, I didn't see a point in getting the archive one. Um... Like I said, I haven't finished Rebels yet, so I don't really know his uh, what happens to him. So he's still alive in the show and the episodes I've watched. So uh, yeah, he's pretty cool, very menacing looking. In the show, he's very like strategic and smart, and he just I don't know. He's 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 pretty cool. I like him. Thrawn. 
I guess there's a bunch of books about them too, but I don't read books really. Uh, what do we got here? We got another Sith uh, jet trooper, I guess. Uh, we had the regular one. Now this is like the Sith version where he's just red. Uh, yeah, not much more to say about him. What do we got? Next we got one of my favorite figures. We got Hoth Leia. Um, I don't know what it is, man. She's just so beautiful in that movie. And this is my favorite, probably my favorite look for her. Um, yeah, it just sucks she's died. She died, man. It sucks that she had to leave this earth early. But yeah, there she is. Princess Leia Organa. Uh, next we got the new released, um... Oh, uh, Luke Skywalker, I almost called him Obi-Wan. Luke Skywalker and Hoth Gear archive release. Shiny eyes. Um, it looks okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not too much of a difference from the other one. Just really the face is different. Uh, but yeah, not bad. I don't think he looks as bad as some people say. Uh, who do we have next? We got... Another TIE Fighter pilot. This one's from uh, Force Awakens. First Order TIE Fighter pilot. And we got next, we have A New Hope, Darth Vader. This is the 40th anniversary, the one that came with that display and everything. Um, I think I bought two of those. I don't remember. I think I bought three of them, sold one, uh, opened one, kept one in box. So, yeah. I did miss out on the Empire one. I heard it's a bit different. Um, I still might get that one day if I see him again. Just just because if I do like the whole uh, scene by scene, movie by movie thing, I want to have obviously three Vaders. Um, I do have another one for Return of the Jedi. I just don't have one for Empire. So I might get another one for Empire, but for now, this one will do the trick. Um, yeah, one of the best Black Series figures, I'd say. Classic Vader. And who do we got here? We got Grumpy Old Man Luke from Last Jedi. He did come with the metal hand. Um, this isn't the metal hand, though. Uh, this is the one that came with, like, the piece of diorama and whatnot. Um, I just thought the face looked better on this one than the other one. Um, but, yeah, he looks cool. I really, like, I dig the look for him. Just, um, I don't know. Like I said, we're not going to talk Last Jedi too much in these in this uh, review. Or not review, uh, collection video. But yeah, he looks cool. What do we got next? We got Sith Trooper. It's pretty much just a First Order Trooper. Different, little slight differences in the armor. Just different color, really. So, it's cool. If you guys are wondering, I do have Clone Wars on in the back in the background here. <laughs> what episode is this? Uh, Cad Bane and Ahsoka. So I forget what episode that is, but anyways. <laughs> what do we got here? We got C-3PO with the silver leg. Um, this was the EB Games exclusive. Um, I feel like this one's probably kind of hard to get now too, probably. Eh? Like, probably not too easy to find. C-3PO with the silver leg. But then I guess they have released a bunch of C-3PO's. So it's not too hard to find a 3PO. What do we got next? We got a First Order Stormtrooper. Basic First Order Stormtrooper. I'm trying to fly through these last ones. Especially the troopers because we've seen so many of them already. Like this one. Another snow trooper there. Uh, this one is somewhat new. We have the uh, Flame Trooper. Is it a flame trooper? I don't think it's technically called the flame. Incinerator trooper, I think. Um, great figure. Great look from the Mandalorian. Only downfall is look at that helmet, man. It's like melted. It's like warped. I probably could fix it if I stick them in some hot water or something. But ever since they started adding those unpainted heads underneath the helmets, the helmets have just been coming out like weak. Like, what the heck, Hasbro? Um... Yeah, I don't know if I can fix that. It feels like it's 
there for good. I don't know. We'll maybe we'll try to fix that one day. But if you're just looking at them from like from there without seeing the top part, doesn't look too bad. Awesome scene in the show where he comes in and tries to incinerate everybody. Incinder. I can't even say the word. Anyways, who do we got next? We got Darth Maul. This is an archive version. Um, really excited to get that new comic Darth Maul without the shirt on. I think he looks badass. Uh, these spikes really hurt still. So if you have a Darth Maul figure, be careful. These are pretty sharp. Um, yeah, he's okay. Not bad. Came with an alternate head slash hood, which is cool. Uh, who do we have next? We got Leia, Princess Leia. This is the Redbox release. Fortunately, I never got the 40th anniversary one. Um, that one had a way better head sculpt. They fixed her face kind of, which is a shame because if I could get that one two times, I would. I would get her to keep mid on card, and then I'd get her to open up to replace this one. Because this one, I don't know, her face just doesn't, doesn't scream uh, Carrie Fisher to me. But uh, she kind of looks like Carrie Fisher's stunt double or something. I don't know. But there she is there. We got another Ahsoka Trooper. This one has a really loose head, actually. Ahsoka Trooper. Next we got uh, Luke in Disguise. Stormtrooper. Um, yeah, not bad, I guess. His face is a little weird looking. They did kind of re-release this figure. Add more scuffs and dirty spots to him with a different head with more like washed back hair. A lot of people said it looked like Justin Bieber. So I never actually uh, ended up picking that one up. But I don't know if I'll get that one. If I ever see him again, I might. And then here we got some more troopers. We got, I believe this is the blue box. Um, sand trooper or heavy trooper or something. I don't know. He looks cool. He's weathered and he has that thing on the shoulder that I like. I don't know what it is, man. These these little things just add a lot to the to the figure for me. These little shoulder things. Um, another stormtrooper, blast effects stuff on him. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. I think this was a deluxe. Came with like a bunch of fire explosions and stuff. Um, I don't know. It, it was kind of overpriced. What do we got? Another death trooper. Another Death Trooper. And maybe like 15, 17 figures left. We got another Snow Trooper here. Man, this is going to suck putting all these back in the bin. <laughs> Thanks for sticking this long if you guys have st uh, stayed around for this long. Um, here's another Storm Trooper. I guess this is the Mandalorian version. Uh, different, the newer mold, I will say. I think it's better. It looks more stormtrooper esque. They do have two different types of helmets, so yeah, cool. I always wondered that. I always thought like there was a difference between the stormtroopers, but never really, really noticed until they released that figure. Um, here's another figure in disguise, Han Solo. Like, the head isn't too bad, honestly. The head isn't too bad, but if I could get another Bespin Han, I would swap the head. But it is still decent. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, what do we got here? We got Director Krennic. Another one that kind of needs updated face, but still does the trick. I'm sure they'll re-release him in the uh, archive or uh, Rogue One line of figures in the new style boxes. Maybe not. He did kind of peg warm too, so maybe they won't re-release him. I don't know. It's the thing about re-releasing figures that people missed out on. Some of them were peg warmed, and Hasbro probably lost a lot of money on, right? So I don't know. Uh, who do we got next? We got Commander Gree, Toys R Us exclusive, I believe. Um, was happy to get him one day walking into Toys R Us. Saw him there on the shelf. So that was cool. Does get decapitated by Yoda, which is also cool. <laughs> um, we got General Viz, Walgreens exclusive. This was actually from Walgreens too. I got this uh, from a, 
uh, I got bought this off another guy that had bought him from the States. So I think in Canada he might have been EB Games exclusive, but mine had the little Walgreens sticker on it. So he came from the USA. Um, yeah, he looks cool. He's badass. He's got a badass look to him. He's from Empire Strikes Back. So yeah, general views. What do we got next? We got another Royal Guard. Another Royal Guard. And another Scout Trooper, but this is the uh, Gaming Greats Scout Trooper from uh, Fallen Order. He's got the vest thing here, and he came with his electric staff things, which is cool. Um, I really wanted to go back and play that game again, but I'm just going to wait for the sequel. Um, it was good. It was hard. Hard game. I thought it was hard anyways. I had to play it on easy to beat it. Um, who do we got next? We got Han Solo from Endor. Another great figure. Another one that you could take this jacket off, and he's still great. I keep the jacket on, just, I don't know. Just because, hey, it's me. <laughs> I don't know. He's awesome. Han Solo. We got, uh, is it Snowspeeder? I guess, yes. This would technically be Snowspeeder Luke. Um... Really, really wanted to get that snow speeder, but man, I just don't have room for it. Like, honest to God, love to display that, but just do not have the space to display it. it sucks because it comes with Dak, and it'd be nice to have Dak as a character too. It's the only way to get him. Um, who do we got next? We got uh, Captain. Oh man, is it Cardinal? I think it's Cardinal. Cardinal or Pyre? One of the two. I think Pyre might be the gold one. I might be getting them mixed up. I don't know. Um, another figure that was a little bit more than retail. I don't know why I bought him because I don't know anything about him. I guess he's from the uh, some animated show or something. I don't know. But he got he has a cape. Whatever. He's cool. He'll stand with the rest of the First Order troopers. Here is the uh, Han Solo I got way back when. First wave. Um, still in great shape. Still doesn't look too bad. The head sculpt, like I said, very similar to the Trooper Disguise one. Same one. Um, I have a feeling eventually they'll upgrade this figure. They'll change the head, but who knows when that'll be. Um, I'm fine with him the way he is for now. Got another Kylo Ren. This was the first box, first release Kylo Ren. Actually, it might have been the re-release, because I think the first release, the uh, hood was a little bit bigger. I think I remember selling that one and keeping this one. Um, but yeah, there he is, Kylo Ren. And actually, here's another Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren from uh, Rise of Skywalker. His helmet all stitched up there, which was weird. It's like you break the helmet, and then you wear the helmet again, like... That just shows right there that, like, the directors just did not have any idea what they were doing. They were just going with the flow. No plans. Uh, I don't know. And next we got Dark Side Ray, which is another figure that's one per case, so I feel like she's kind of hard to find. Um, she really should have came with an alternate head or something with, like, those teeth showing, right? Am I the only one that wanted that? Like... That would have been so cool. She has that ring on her finger. Um, honestly, I would have been happy if the movie ended on a note where she turned evil instead of good. But Disney probably didn't want to do that. And I heard back in the day it was a thought of that to happen for Luke at the end of Return of the Jedi. And they didn't go with that. And I feel like they should have gone with that for her, for Rey's character. But... I'm not the director. I don't. I'm not a director or anything, so I don't know. Next, we got Kanan Jarrus from Rebels. First release, non upgraded face. Still looks fine, in my opinion. Um, yeah, another one that has a cool lightsaber. Comes in two pieces. You can hook it on the back there. Pretty cool. Uh, next, we got Wedge. We got Wedge Antilles. Um, another basic mold, um, X Wing mold to him. Uh, he has a clip for a lightsaber, which doesn't make sense because he never he never held a lightsaber, so that's weird. But yeah, there's Wedge. 
All right, we're getting down to the bottom here. We got the, this is the ATAT -AT driver, correct? Yes, ATAT -AT driver. I'm looking up at my wall. Um, they look cool. Um, they kind of look like TIE fighter pilots, but different, a little different. Uh, yeah, cool. And who do we have next? One of my other favorite Leia figures, the Bespin Escape Leia. Um, just the likeness on her face there. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful Leia. She even has the look of, like, scared. Like, she has, like, that scared look. Like, almost like the look of when Han Solo's about to get put in carbonite kind of look to her. But, yeah, one of my favorites. Leia. That's been escape. Um, this pile of figures is getting massive, people. What do we got next? We got Vader without his helmet. This will be my uh, Return of the Jedi Vader. Um, I'll probably pose him on the ground with Luke holding him and whatnot. With his mask off. And it's not the greatest figure with the helmet on, but if you just take it off and have him displayed with it off, then it's not bad. But the helmet just look weird on him. Uh, I have it in an accessory bin at the moment, but yeah. There's my other Vader. And what do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven figures left. Eleven figures left. All right. Another Ahsoka clone trooper. I told you guys I bought a bunch of them. There's another one. And what do we got here? We got uh, Hux, General Hux. The face is not the greatest on him. Another one that could probably use an upgrade. Um, but another figure I, f I feel that was hard to find when he first came out. A lot of people were looking for him. I was lucky enough to get him at Walmart. Um, but yeah, General Hux. Uh, Archive X-Wing pilot Luke. Um, again, the face isn't horrible, but it's not the best. Um, another figure that was worth a lot before they re-released him. Um, in the orange box. Uh, next we got Grand Moff Tarkin. Tarkin. What more to say? Such menacing. So menacing. Such an evil look to him. You may fire when ready. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Alright. What we got here? We got Han Solo in Mud Trooper disguise. Um, his helmet does come off. Oh, his goggles come off too. Um, take this helmet off here. It's actually really on there. You know what? We're just going to leave it on. Um, I don't even really use him as a Han Solo. I just kind of put him in with the Imperials. So another figure that would have been cool to get multiple of. But I was lucky enough just to get one. So, But yeah, there's a Mud Trooper Solo. And next we have Captain Phasma. Um, she really should have came with a soft goods uh, cape. I was really debating on swapping the cape with uh, this, but I noticed that it's a silver instead of red, so I'm like, crap, can't do that. Um, but yeah, she's cool. Um, she should have had more screen time. She should have done more stuff, but she didn't. And that's uh, pretty much every thought about the new movies. They could have done more, but they didn't. Uh, next we got Yavin Luke. Pretty sure everyone's got this guy by now. He was everywhere. Great head sculpt on him. We got Bespin Luke. New updated Bespin Luke. Great figure. Um, next we got Quill from the Mandalorian. I have spoken. One of the best lines ever. Um... Voiced by the legend himself. Um, God, I can't even remember his name. <laughs> Jesus. The legend himself, and I can't even remember his name. God. Nick Nolte. There it is. God, I wanted to say, like, some somebody else, but it, it wasn't the right name. So I was like, ah, oh, what is it? Nick Nolte. That's his name. The legendary Nick Nolte. Um, yeah. He was played by an actress. I forget her name. But he was voiced by Nick Nolte. So, awesome character. Um, Alright, two figures left, guys. Two figures left. Um, second last figure is Clone Wars Ahsoka. Walmart exclusive. 
Um, man, does she pop on the shelf with all those Ahsoka troopers behind her, and she just looks awesome. This is like based off of her season seven look, which was an amazing season. Um, yeah, just awesome figure, awesome character. Ashley Eckstein has a beautiful voice. She voiced her perfectly. And Rosario Dawson played her very well, too, in The Mandalorian. I wonder if we'll get a Mandalorian uh, Ahsoka figure down the line. Probably will. But uh, there she is. And last but not least, <laughs> ironically, here it is. Uh, Cara Dune. Cara Dune. Um, if you guys know about Cara Dune, you guys know that this figure has shot up a lot in price. Because she has left the Mandalorian, or she was forced to leave Mandalorian because of some political views or something that she had. Um, it's a shame that they take that into consideration when hiring people. I mean, people can't just have an opinion these days. I mean, I get it if it's something really wrong and bad. Like, But if it's just an opinion on something, I don't know. But then again... She should have known better that she works for this big company. She probably shouldn't have posted that. But then again, it's freedom of speech, right? So whatever you say, I think she's a cool character. I think she's uh, also very beautiful. And yeah, she's a badass. <laughs> Former MMA fighter. Like She's got that little rebel symbol on her cheek too. Can't really focus on it, but. Yeah, badass figure. She has skyrocketed in price. I think she'll be back, though. I just have a feeling that they can't just, like, get rid of her. I feel like they're going to have to bring her back in some way. I don't know. But that was the last figure, guys. Um, thanks so much for staying here this whole time and watching this. It was a super long one. Um, I'll start putting out more unboxing reviews on the channel. Um, we did recently hit 1,000 followers this, uh, this week on Instagram, so that giveaway will be happening. So stay tuned to the channel and to my Instagram account. I will be uploading how to enter the giveaway probably tomorrow, if not later tonight. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys liked the video, hit, hit a like button. Um, if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button, because, you know, maybe it's not what you liked. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.